Let's learn how to create this amazing Vox style text effect in After Effects without using any third-party paid plugins. This text effect is a very creative way to grab the attention of the viewers and highlight the subject of the video. All right, let's get started. First, grab the type tool in After Effects and write out your text. Go ahead and center it in the composition and adjust the font until you're happy with the initial look. Now, in your timeline, twirl down the text layer's properties until you see Source Text. Click the little stopwatch right next to it to create our first keyframe. Next, move forward just one frame. Head over to the character panel and change the font to something completely different. We're going to repeat this exact process. Move forward one frame, then pick a new font. Do this for at least nine or 10 frames to build a really smooth, flickering animation. You can use any fonts you like. For this tutorial, I'll be using a few that I think look good together. If you need more options, you can always find great free fonts on Adobe Fonts or websites like dafont.com. Once you've created your sequence of fonts, select all the keyframes, copy them with Control C, and then paste them with Control V right after the last one. Repeat this a few times to make the effect last longer. And here's a final tip for a perfect loop. Make sure the font on your very last keyframe is the exact same as your first one. This will make the entire animation cycle back seamlessly. Now for a really powerful trick to control the timing. If you want to change the speed of the whole effect, first, select all of your keyframes. Then, hold down the Alt key, click on the very last keyframe, and simply drag it to the left or right. You'll see all the keyframes stretch or squeeze together proportionally. This is a super fast way to adjust the speed and duration of the entire animation across your composition. Now that the timing on our main effect is set, let's add a second line of text. Grab the type tool and type something new onto your composition. To center it perfectly, here's a quick two-step shortcut. First, press Ctrl plus Alt plus Home to move the anchor point to the center of the text itself. Then, press Ctrl plus Home to snap the entire layer to the center of the composition. After that, you can open up the transform properties to fine-tune the position, just like I'm doing here. Always remember to preview your work. Play the animation back three or four times to make sure everything looks right and the timing feels good. You could also animate this new text with a simple fade in, but to keep this video short and to the point, we won't be adding any extra animation today. Use the rectangle tool to create a fill over the text effect. Now make sure that fill is enabled and stroke is disabled. Change the color of the rectangle to your liking and change the blending mode to multiply or darken. If you cannot see the mode option, press F4 to reveal the options. Now add trim path animator to the rectangle and keyframe the end animator from zero to 100. You will see a problem that trim path effect starts from opposite side. We can either use the offset to correct it or use the technique I am going to show you. Use the pan anchor behind tool to move the anchor point of the rectangle to the left side, just like demonstrated in video. Unlink the scale parameter and move the X scale parameter to zero at start and to 100 at end. Select both keyframes and use F9 to easy ease. This makes the animation smooth and organic to viewers. The color of the rectangle is way too bright. Let's change it to a darker tone. Our animation is looking great, but it's maybe a little too crisp and clean. To give it a more natural, organic vibe, let's add one final touch. Go to your Effects and Presets panel and apply the Roughen Edges effect to the text. Now you can just play with the settings and crank up the different properties until it feels just right for your project. And there you have it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is a new channel and your support truly helps me create more content for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.